Is this thing on? What up you guys? My name is Aline, they call me Lean, and welcome to my channel. I know, I know what you're thinking. Dang Lean, where the heck have you been these last few months? To start it off, one of the main reasons why I've been MIA from the YouTube world is mainly because of school. If you guys didn't know already, last semester was actually my very last semester of my college undergrad career. So, you know, towards the end of October, November, you know, even though I had a pretty chill semester, towards the end, I was pretty much ransacked with a bunch of projects and assignments. So, you know, I wanted to leave, you know, my last semester of my undergrad college with a bang. So, you know, during that period, I pretty much just focused on working on my school assignments, you know, doing all-nighters, making sure everything was perfect, and towards the end, you know, all that hard work, um, you know, paid off. I passed all my classes with A's, and I'm very excited because, you know, that was the very first time I ever had a 4.0 in college um, in my seven and a half years ever. So, you know, uh, school really got to me towards the end, but, you know, at the end of the day, it was totally worth it because now I'm officially a graduate um, with a BA of Communication Studies. Another main reason why I've pretty much been in MIA is because I've been working for the most part. Um, you know, ever since I ended um, school, I pretty much have been working and working and working, you know, especially because of the holidays and little events like that. So, you know, I've just been trying to, you know, save up money as much as I possibly could, you know, just because, you know, I am realizing, you know, I am finally out of college, so, you know, during the time being, um, I am pretty much, you know, keeping myself occupied, working all the time because I am a workaholic. And, you know, for the most part, you know, um, I am also looking for bigger and brighter things in my career. Uh, ever since, you know, I did graduate college, you know, don't think, I haven't been thinking about it, but, you know, I am trying to look farther into my future, you know, I'm trying to do big things, so I've just been applying myself everywhere as much as possible, but in the meantime, you know, I just been working and keeping it real because your girl is not, you know, the riches of them all, you know, I'm a broke college student, you know what it is, so yeah, um, working, 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 that's all I've been doing is working. Another reason why I've pretty much been MIA for the most part is, to be honest, I've pretty much been uninspired. Um, you know, I actually do have the footage that I have previously filmed last year that I may or may not possibly edit just because I don't know if it's even good enough. And you know, sometimes, you know, um, for me personally, when I'm creating content, I kind of get almost intimidated because, you know, back in the day when I was watching YouTube videos, it was all just for fun. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but sometimes, like, over time, like, it can get a little scared because you see so many videos out there and you know you just kind of wonder like will anyone take a chance to watch mine but for me you know sometimes you know you just gotta sit down and chill and I really had to think about it and you know I came to a point where I didn't know if I still wanted to make videos anymore because I had that mentality but you know um, one day I thought to myself you know what I'm just gonna make videos um, because whether people like it or not I should do it for the pleasure of myself and you know if someone wants to watch it cool and if someone doesn't want to watch it that's cool too because in the end of the day um, you know making videos should be a fun thing and not some kind of competition which sometimes I feel like that's kind of like a reason why people get so scared to film content so you know for me this year you know I'm trying to think as positive as possible so you know now that it's a new year even though it's like towards the end of January early February um, I'm just thinking good things and that's why I decided to film this kind of like video for you guys because I wanted to share with you guys and be honest like reasons why I haven't you know been filming another reason why I've been a little MIA mainly because I've been on a social media break um, usually I go through phases where I go on social media breaks where I pretty much either delete apps on my phone or I pretty much just do not check it at all 
and sometimes I do these mainly because you know I kind of want to cleanse my mind um, sometimes from negativity because sometimes being on social media can be a little intimidating and almost kind of negative because you see images sometimes you don't like and it kind of just brings you down so that's kind of like another reason why I go through social media breaks um, mainly because I want to spend time with my friends or I want to go out and you know I literally just leave my phone alone because even sometimes people need to realize like you do not always need your phone which I do always have to like remind myself like you do not always need your phone you do not always need to watch social media 24 7 so for the most part you know I've been on a social media break so that's kind of why like I've been in my A which I'm truly sorry but I hope you guys forgive me because I'm coming back and making some content and it's gonna be awesome I'm just kidding I don't know if it's gonna be awesome <laughs> Another update that I wanted to share with you guys is actually my New Year's resolution. And I know what you're thinking, Lean, it's towards the end of January. I don't even know why you're sharing this, but I want to share with you guys anyways because, duh, this is an update video. One of my New Year's resolutions is to get healthy. And this is mainly because, you know, I'm not getting any younger and my metabolism is not how I used to have it back when I was younger. So I decided this year I just pretty much want to get healthier or get fit, if you will. Um, for the most part, it's mainly just me. I'm choosing better food decisions and also just to stay active for the most part. Um, it's not necessarily, you know, to lose weight or anything like that. I just want, you know, my body to be in the best shape it could be because really I'm just out of shape. And I don't like the fact that I have become lazy when it comes to low walking places and things like that. So getting healthy has been my New Year's resolution. And so far it's been doing good. You know, I've been going to the gym, just being active and slowly but surely choosing wiser and better food decisions which at times can be really hard um, but yeah getting healthy because I feel like a lot of times you know um, having that mentality is kind of like a good thing and it's actually greater for the future so you know you could live longer be better and you know be the best you could be Another New Year's resolution that I have is pretty much to stay positive because in the end of the day, whether if it's a good or bad situation, you shouldn't think of things negatively, but also um, just think of things, you know, in a positive light because in the end of the day, like being positive will, will pretty much like have you less stressed about things and not worry too much because in the end of the day, like you shouldn't worry about the little things at all. The very last New Year's resolution is actually to start being minimal. I actually started this towards the end of my very last week of school where I got bored and I decided to kind of look through my items and just started getting rid of things. Um, from my clothes to my shoes to my socks, books and things like that, I just got a bunch of trash bags and started putting them there and you know I was thinking to myself like why do I have this stuff, why did I buy this, like you know I know that I kind of bought things because I thought I needed it but I really didn't need it so you know I'm starting to be minimal and slowly getting rid of things and you know it kind of makes me feel good because you know I'm getting rid of things you know knowing that not only can this go to someone that can use these items but also you know kind of like thinking like you know I don't really need all these items to make me happy you know I should only keep items that I know that will be useful in the long run because you know and then they like you don't want to have all this clutter you don't want to build and like have a bunch of things you don't need so you know starting that minimal life and I'm pretty excited because you know like I don't know I'm kind of getting like, the thrill of getting rid of things and you know even though some of it was kind of hard like my makeup um, you know I'm just learning you know and then today like if I need it or whatever you know I can always buy it again because at the end of the day like all those items can always be rebought um, but the things that can be rebought re anywhere are memories and you know I'm just thinking of that perspective if that makes any sense so you know I'm excited you know to kind of like achieve all these New Year's resolutions. Last but not least um, my very last update I will actually be starting a new series on my channel which is the 30 day minimalism challenge. Pretty much every single day I will pretty much 
look through my things and just get rid of it. Um, and it will pile up, you know, or an item will add up day by day. Um, like from the first day, I will pick one item. The second day, I'll pick two items. Day three, I will pick three items and things like that. Since I'm starting this minimalism challenge, you know, I'm hoping, you know, I will pull through all 30 days because at times it can be really, really hard to let go of things. But I'm learning in the long run, like, girl, you can always get it. It's not a big deal. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys again for watching my little update video. I know I have been rambling on, but I thought you guys deserve a little, you know, scoop of what I've been up to these last few months. Also, I want to say thank you guys again for staying subscribed to my channel. Um, stay tuned for more content. I'm so excited to share with you guys what's new in store. Also, if you do not follow me already on my socials, Follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Alintaba. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave some love down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But I hope you guys enjoy my little NSYNC shirt. Um, thank you guys again for watching. Until next time, it's been real and I'll see you soon. Bye!